Hey Math Watchers, so this is uh, an extra credit project I'm doing for my uh, Physics 1 class. It involves an asteroid crashing into the Earth, that is what I'm simulating over there. Uh, crashing into the Earth so hard that the day of the Earth becomes longer. Alright, so to find the speed of the asteroid as it hits the Earth, uh, if we include everything in our system, we know that delta K plus delta U is equal to zero. Now the delta kinetic energy is just going to be the final kinetic energy of the asteroid as it hits the Earth. So that's one half mass of the asteroid, velocity of the asteroid squared, and this is equal to negative delta U. Now we know that uh, we have to solve for this BA, so square root of 2 over m uh, times negative delta U. So what is delta U? That's just going to be the uh, gravitational potential energy of the Earth and the Sun on the asteroid. So if we take the Earth, that's negative g, mass of the asteroid, mass of the Earth, over the radius of the Earth. And for the Sun, it's mass of the asteroid times mass of the Sun, divided by the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So if we plug all this back into uh, this solution for uh, VA, VA equals square root of 2 over that's mass of the asteroid. So we can pull out negative uh, gma out of this, so we can get gma, the negatives cancel out, and um, we are left with me over re, mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth, plus mass of the Sun over the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And we know all those values, so I can go ahead and tell you that this is going to end up being 4.4e to the 4 meters per Second. All right, so for part B, if we're only using the Earth and the asteroid for right before the collision to right after the collision, we know that L T R I plus L T uh, rotational I is equal to L T R F plus L rotational F. This is zero because after the collision happens, it's all rotational energy. So L rotational final is equal to L T R I, which is some magnitude r, some magnitude p, sine of theta, plus i, w, i. This r, p, sine of theta is going to end up being the radius of the Earth times the mass of the asteroid times the velocity of the asteroid, sine of theta, plus i, omega, i, is equal to i, omega, f. If we divide out i for both sides, um, so what is i? i, in this case, is going to be two-fifths the mass of the Earth times the radius of the Earth squared. This and that cancels out. So to solve this, we're going to need Wi, which is the uh, radians per second of how much the Earth rotates. Um, so we know that the Earth rotates once every 24 hours. If we convert that to radians per second, one rotation is 2 pi radians. This is pi over 4, 3, 2, 0, 0 radians per second. So now we have all the information we need to solve for WF, uh, which is going to be 6.99 e to the negative 5 radians per second. So we have WF radians per second, and we need to translate that into ro uh, rotations per hour. So convert that into hours and 2 pi radians per rotations. So, we have it in rotations per hour, but we need it to be in hours per rotation. So, invert it, and we get 24.98 hours per rotation. Alright, so to figure out the change in temperature, we need to know the specific heat of Earth. Um, I found it in one place online, and it's about 1.3. So, we know that the change in energy of the Earth can be a lot of things. It can be delta K trans plus delta K rotational, plus delta K of a lot of things, plus delta E internal. Um, in this um, change, there's no translational energy, so it's all rotational energy. So the delta E internal, which we're looking for, is negative delta K rotational, which is going to be one half I of omega I squared minus omega F squared. I wrote all of uh, those things down over there, so I can tell you that this is going to be about 1.9 8 e to the 28 joules. So we need to convert that from joules to temperature. So the uh, formula for temperature 
is we can call it delta E internal over uh, C mass and since this mass is in kilograms we need to get it from kilograms to grams so that's a thousand grams per kilogram so we have all this information so I can tell you that that is going to be 2.5 degrees Celsius